There, there, my Velociraptor friends. There, there. Shh. No more tears now. Four bullets. Only dreams. Three. Oh, hello there. Didn't see you come in. Hi, this is Depressing Draws, and welcome back to Trespasser. We are continuing on our merry way to the mystical forest of dreams that we are veritably wandering through without a single thought for our own safety. An idea brought me awake one morning in New York. I almost didn't write it down. Brilliant. F thanks, John. I'm just doing the commentary here, and you just want to interrupt me every five minutes. Cheers, mate. You're doing a tip-top job and really winding me up. You're really... What if a mosquito sucked the blood of a dinosaur 100 million years ago? What if? The insect is then covered in tree sap, which, over the millennia, becomes amber. Oh God! What if all of these what ifs, Johns? What if this? What if that? Three shots. What if I had a beard made of green spinach? What then? Who could say? Bloody hell! Just piping up with your stupid stories. You're as bad as Grandpa Simpson. No one gives a shit about your stupid. The insect is preserved perfectly, but you see, and here's the clever part: wouldn't the dinosaur blood be preserved as well? Oh, big deal. I mean, look at the state of them. Look at this Stegosaurus, for example. Why would you even bother making these bastards? Look at him. He's bloody useless. Look at him. Look at his stupid dead eyes. He's not having deep philosophical thoughts, is he? Look. Look at him. Look at him. He's just bloody the very definition of gormless. He's not even going to slap him about a bit. He's not doing anything about it. He's just going to sit there and take it. Three Talk shots. about bloody useless. No wonder they bloody died out. They're just bloody gormless looking bastards. They've got no brains at all. Bloody brains the size of walnuts, I heard from somewhere. Uh, but having said that, I have dropped my gun somewhere. <laughs> but never mind. Oh, I seem to... No, I have still got my gun. I was just holding it and I just discharged it into my five. But never mind. A tiny spiral of genetic code. Gee, fuck is, for fuck's sake, John, I'm I'm getting molested by That's velociraptors it. here, and all you want to do is tell left. me about DNA. I've got more pressing problems at hand at the moment, thank you very much. Five. But they are sorted out quickly with a That's shot it. of my revolver, and Anne psychically telling me there that there are no more bullets in that gun, or I guess that she did fire them all, I guess, so she's, ostensibly she knew that there weren't any left, but how did she know how many there were in the beginning? Could she tell Sunlight you? angled down through the dusty air in Norman's office, and I leaned against a solid oak table as I outlined my plans for international genetic technologies. How does Anne tell the difference between a full shotgun and, a, a, well, I guess any weapon, really, a full weapon and an empty weapon? I mean, you know, has she handled a lot of weapons before in her life? Is she some sort of quarter marshal or something? Talk about weapons. Here's a Six cool one. Six left. Look at this baby. Yeah, it's like a magnum or something. Or I feel like I want to call it a rutger. Is that right? Someone you you know, post that in the comments or whatever you like. I don't know. It's pretty cool. Anyway, look at it. It's like something Dirty Harry would have. Make my day, punk. He doesn't sound like that, but never mind. That's the best impression I can come with at uh, short nose. Six left. Right, so on we go. And we are, after having... It was the flowering of an ambition born 50 years ago. 50 years struggle come to this. John, I'm really starting to get annoyed with your constant interruptions. Don't make me turn the sound off because I'll do it. I'll swear I'll do it. You'll just push me a bit further and we'll see what happens. And hello, Velociraptor friend. Come to mate our acquaintance. Well, when you mate our acquaintance with our shotgun, it's not a shotgun. It's, a <laughs> it's blatantly a revolver. But never mind. We have sorted you out a tree. Seven. Do some. Four anyway, months. uh... In here we have a shotgun in a uh, hastily boarded up uh, shed. Let's just see if we can uh, get rid of Four some shots. of these. Oh god. Oh, <laughs> that looked like it hurt. Four and, shots. Um, Three. There we go. Right. Uh, fuck off. Thank you very much. And just see if we can retrieve this shotgun. Seven shots. Perfecta mundo. Let's carry on. Oh. Looks like seven. You're not getting away from us that easily, shotgun, let me guarantee you. Look at this baby. Ooh, lovely pump action beauty. And and I've sure got to hand it to Anne. She sure is a spindly arm freak, but she can sure hold a shotgun and fire it with one arm. 
you know, bloody hell, man. You got must have tendons like steel poles or steel wire or something, probably. I don't know. Anyway, bloody hell. It's just like, can you imagine just holding a shotgun with one arm and just firing it willy-nilly? She must be a bloody beast. A beast, I tell you. Let's carry on. And, oh, we, I can spy another Velociraptor friend in the distance there. Let's go and introduce him to Mr. Shotgun. I feel like the two will get on like a house on fire. Ever seen a house on fire? Yeah, a bit like that. Um... Yes, and oh, a Triceratops as well, and these Velociraptors look like they are going to fight the Triceratops, but we are going to fight the Velociraptors. Let's see who is the eventual victor. Uh, spoilers, it's going to be me. So, say hello to you, friend. Six. Come here. Five. Don't swap me with your tail and make me drop a shotgun. Five That's rounds not left. Acceptable. That's just not cricket. You know, Gettysburg, Gettysburg rules and stuff. Oops, I <laughs> think. Three. Two. Yep, you are down for the count, and as for your mate, oh, run out of shotgun ammo. Looks like ammo, seven. But we've got our Six. perfect deagle, so we can just shoot him in the ass. Three, two. Uh, don't run out of ammo, please, Anne. One. Ah, perfecto mundo. Here we go. One more bullet, so I um. That's it. I'm not going to need this shotgun anymore. Fuck off, shotgun. And yes, we have a. We have emerged the victor once again. The Triceratops looks pretty happy, I guess. He's uh, floundering about like a crab on stilts. <laughs> on we go. Carrying on. And, oh, look, could that be a phone box? Let's go and see if we can alert the authorities to our mishap of crashing on an island full of dinosaurs. A phone. Oh, thank God. And watch Anne's incredible dexterity as she dials the nearest number. Oh, oh well. I suppose it would have been too easy just to be able to uh, alert the authorities to our mishap here, but never mind, carrying on. Let's just see, we've got another arbitrary block puzzle to contend with. Um, see if we can just reach that block, yes. I do love the way that Anne just holds her arm out expectantly when you tell her to pick something up. It's like that she just expects it to just fly into her hand. Let me just demonstrate. Yeah, I know Anne, you can't reach it, but never mind. Keep trying, keep keep on shining, you crazy diamond. Um, so yeah, uh, on first blush, I guess you might look at this and think, well, why are you climbing up on top of the mon monorail? It is because, of course, we can't possibly make it over this slight incline. You know, any person with, uh, you know, half-functioning limbs could climb up that, but unfortunately, Anne does not fit that description, as we have all seen. Um, and... I am just going to try and jump down here without killing myself. It may seem like a simple task, but as you can see there, it Looks like is seven. not. It is a hell of a thing. And in fact, here we have a Velociraptor right on our case to, to come and spoil our day. I'm not going to. He's not going to spoil my day. I'm going to spoil his. Whoa, easy, bro. Just jump. Five. Yeah, do some. What a shot. Can you one believe it? One shot left. Oh, I don't need one shot. One sheet. Um... Give me a little belly rub here. Mmm, lovely. What is my Six problem? Left. I can't even begin to tell you, I'm afraid. It's just it's just been a life of tragedy and uh, abuse, I suppose. Carrying on. Um, mmm. Lovely vegetation. Lovely sky. You know, this place wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't full of these fucking velociraptors. And here's another one coming to bloody get up all in my grill. Bye. Piss off. <laughs> Just no, no, no! I, you, are, we are having a zero tolerance bloody uh, policy against velociraptors at the moment. They just want to come up and get a ball in my face. It's just, you know, you'd think that they wouldn't be that bothered if they weren't hungry or something. But no, they just want to come and chew out my guts constantly. Bloody things! They're just what and why? Oh, why have they been like? They were making this place, and all they seem to have achieved is uh, a build a load of bloody concrete obelisks for no apparent reason, and fill the place with bloody velociraptors. You know, what was their project plan like? What could they possibly do try to achieve? It's like, hmm. Step one, concrete obelisks. Step two, velociraptors. Oh, that is not how you build a bloody project like this, guys. Honestly. 
And uh, here we go, we can see the butt of an automatic weapon there. I desperately want that, so we're just going to chuck a few rocks at it, just to see if we can retrieve it. Yes, this could be going better, I'll be the first to admit it, but that is the nature of the game, unfortunately. Uh, in fact, I think I'm just going to waste Six a few, rounds. few bullets on it, because I do <laughs> desperately want it. Four. And I'm also going to need the boxes as well, so uh, that'll do me. Five shots. Oh, I've also got a shotgun. Oh, that's even better. Four shots. Uh, go away, you. Careful inventory management, as you can see here in this game, is crucial. Oh, no. No. Look at that. Look, it's oh, just bloody. Oh, Jesus. Come on, Anne. Work with me here. Work with me, Anne. Um, let's see if we can get this bloody thing to come off here oh god I can't even reach it with this oh Jesus the the agony the bloody agony of this game come on uh, surely you could reach a bit harder than that come on let's just, uh, come on I really want this mp5 words cannot express to you how badly I want this silenced weapon to shoot dinosaurs with because it's fully automatic and that is just such a good laugh come here off the bloody gradient oh god thrilling bloody commentary and uh action here no, there we go look at this beauty Ooh, we are gonna shoot some dinosaurs with this just chuck it over there so we don't lose it and just trying to get these crates to cooperate us for five minutes oh bloody hell you know it's like when you try to lift it, it's like the heaviest thing in the world. But as soon as you tell Anne to throw it, she throws it with such gay abandon, you'd think it weighed absolutely nothing. It's just physics that works, my friends. And on we go. Hasn't Remembering been Remembering to pick up our treasured silenced weapon here. And what a dream come true to shoot some velociraptors with a silenced automatic weapon. And look at this. Look, what are these dinosaur bones doing here? I know, and I know what you're going to say. Duh, the bloody dinosaur bones are here because you're on a dinosaur island. But just think about it for a moment. Like, it's almost like these dinosaur bones have been here for ages, and then they've been like underground, and then the the weather has eroded away the dirt. But f the dinosaurs haven't been here that long. So what happened to this one? Did it come careening out of the sky and crash into the side of the cliff? We'll never know the truth, I guess. It's such a tragedy. Carrying on. And what is over the hill? Over the hill is... Some more forests. A the lost world is a sort of scientific myth. An evolutionary scenario in which an ecosystem is isolated and preserved. The rest of the world changes, leaving a tiny, fragile pocket where ancient species survive. Well, that's not yada, a scientific myth. Yada, yada. Yeah, I, I completely agree, Anne. You know, that's not a scientific myth. That's exactly what the Galapagos Islands are. I mean, for, for fuck's sake, John, I thought you were a doctor or something. Do some. <laughs> Showing these bloody dinosaurs who's boss. And who's the boss? Anne's the boss. This is Anne's house, and she's in charge. She's taken on these dinosaurs like... A boss. A beast, even. Yes, I think beast is the more appropriate objective there. She is taking them on like a beast. I think I upset that Bronsaurus, but that's just too bad. He's just going to have to deal with it. And what is he dealing with today? It is Anne shooting him in the face with a shotgun. Um, see that Velociraptor? In the winter, we began oh, building hello, supports for the elevated transit system that would unify the island. Concrete towers rose through the jungle. <laughs> Empty. Ooh. Well, it's Feels time full. for automatic weapons, I feel. Yeah, do some. And just because of that, mate, I'm going to take out your bloody girlfriend here as well. Come here, love. I'm going to show you the power of modernised, mechanised weaponry. Curving up out of the southern base in the Atherton Causeway you would bring me, visiting scientists hide. north from the southern beach. Sorted. And, oh god, there's more over there. Oh, I, you know, I honestly cannot be bothered to fight them. I'm just going to make a quick trip up this rickety looking crane. Oh, I suppose it's not too rickety looking. It's just, uh, I don't fancy my chances with two velociraptors at once, frankly. I know I've, like, been uh, waxing lyrical about how I'm the biggest badass on this island, but frankly, there are limited limitations to my 
rock hardness. Um, I've just taken two Velociraptors down. I don't need to take down four. You know, I think you could probably appreciate that. You know, and I might have professed to being a dinosaur killing machine, a Velociraptor killing machine, but I'm not going to kill every single one of them. It's just not worth my time. I'm a busy person. I've got to survive and get off this fucking island. I don't want to be hopping around on monorails for the rest of my life. Imagine that. It'd be worse than bloody hell or something. And especially with the way Anne wow. jumps. They certainly were serious about their monorail. Oh, yes. You've got time to be sarcastic, Anne, haven't you? Especially when you can't be bothered to jump half the time, I tell you to. Oh dear, I mean it's like, it's almost like that sometimes there's like a uh, random number generator running in the background of this game and sometimes you'll jump and sometimes you just won't, and, you know, you just gotta deal with it basically. Um, oh no, and the monorail fell down! What a tragedy, what a state of affairs to find ourselves in, but never mind because this is another one to climb up here and it helps us to helpfully avoid the velociraptors who are beggaring about in the background there but you know I'm just gonna ignore them you know I feel like we maybe need to adopt a new policy when it comes to the Velociraptors maybe we'll have a bit of a ceasefire you know maybe if I uh, don't shoot them in the face they won't try to chew my ass off that, that would be lovely frankly um, it might be short-lived but maybe just staying out of their way might be for the best uh, lovely Vista that we're looking at here not at all pixelated or chunky or crunchy looking uh, and on we go. Here we are. We seem to have come across a <coughs> bizarre looking puzzle and the Velociraptor is attacking us despite the fact that we are several feet above his head. Uh, let's see if we can traverse this <coughs> stupid bit of geometry. Yes, there we go. And uh, another puzzle for you. We're just going to knock this block down here and create an <coughs> a impromptu bridge. Perfect. Carrying on. Just like... Uh, why were the construction workers stacking these boxes in such a precarious way all along this half-constructed monorail? I don't know, it's just like... It, it, I just feel like they were doing a bad job, frankly, and I can't help but comment on it. And it looks like we've got a bit of a leap of faith on this tiny bit of grid to jump upon here. And oh, never mind, I suppose it's, uh, here goes nothing. Oh god, that was a bit close anyway. We managed to survive through that uh, and just jump in some more boxes whilst the... Uh, Velociraptors eye us hungrily from below, but that's okay because... But we're not... Oh no! Oh no! Now the Velociraptors are gonna get me! Bloody hell! Uh, quick, Anne! Quick! Quick as you like! Oh no! Oh god, that was a close one. I was sure I was gonna die of full damage there, but never mind. Um, I dare not look behind me because there's probably a Velociraptor right on my toes. Just a... a toes? My the heels? Um... <laughs> Oh no, he's not paying any attention to us. Well, I guess he's probably had a meal in the recent uh, past, I guess. And on we go. So, here we are at the end of the level. Thanks very much for watching again, and I will see you in level three. You're all